Here we have more examples from implicit differentiation. So find dy dx of cosine xy. So the derivative of y is dy dx. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. Keep your angle the same. And then you do have to multiply by the derivative of that angle. Since it consists of two variables, two different variables, we must um, use a product rule. So the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. And then if I clean this up, I get, and I will distribute this negative sine of xy. So I get negative x sine of xy dy dx and then negative y sine of xy. And so then now I'm going to take the term with the dy dx and move it over to the right hand side. So I get x sine of xy dy dx plus dy dx that was already on the left hand side and then negative y sine of xy. Then if I factor out the dy dx, I get dy dx times x sine of xy plus 1 equal to negative y sine of xy. And then if I divide both sides by what's here in the parentheses, I will get dy dx equal to negative y sine of xy over x sine of xy plus 1. And now I have found dy dx. Now the last example in this section um, says find the slope of the tangent line, so just the slope at the given point. Then find the equation, ah, and we also have to find the equation of the tangent line. Here's my function here. So the slope m10 is equal to dy dx evaluated at the point 1, 1. Okay? That little bar means that I'm going to evaluate dy dx at this point. So first, let's find dy dx. So if we take the derivative of this function, the derivative of ln is 1 over your argument times the derivative of your argument. And that will cause us to do product rule. So the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Now I move on to the second term. The derivative of 6x is 6. The derivative of 6y is 6, but the derivative of y is dy dx. So let's distribute this and simplify a little bit. We have x over xy dy dx plus y over xy plus 6 equal to 6 dy dx. So then here the x's are going to reduce, here the y's are going to reduce, and I am going to move over this term, which will now be a 1 over x, and this term to the right hand side, and I'm going to move this term over to the left hand side. So that I end up with 1 over y dy dx minus 6 dy dx equal to negative 1 over x minus 6. Then I'm going to factor out the dy dx. Actually, it may be better. Oh, it's okay, because I'm going to plug in um, numbers anyway, so we'll leave it with fractions. So factor out the dy dx. We get 1 over y minus 6. And so then if I find dy dx all by itself, it would be this complex fraction. Negative 1 over x minus 6 over 1 over y minus 6. Now if I evaluate this at the point 1, 1, x value is 1 and the y value also happens to be 1. So when I plug in these numbers, I get negative 1 over 1 minus 6 over 1 over 1 minus 6. So I get negative 7 over negative 5, which is just 7 fifths. Okay. Then now, 
Um, if we go ahead and find the equation. So this is the first part. This is the slope of the tangent line. If I want to find the equation, I have to do y minus the y value of the point equal to my slope times x minus the x value of my point. And if I distribute that 7 fifths, I get y minus 1 equals 7 fifths x minus 7 fifths. And then if I add 1 to both sides, I end up with y equal to 7 fifths x minus 2 fifths. And this is the equation of the tangent line.